If you think about trauma as the event or the circumstances that you endured or suffered through, PTSD actually is the story that you tell yourself as to why or how that happened. Take for example, you're in a car accident. The person who doesn't develop PTSD will probably be shaken up for a few weeks after that car accident, but the person that does develop PTSD as a result of that accident has internalized some negative beliefs about themselves. They might think that they're no longer safe when they're in the car. They might think that the accident was their fault. If there were any injuries, they might feel really guilty about that. What happens is those negative internalized beliefs become sort of stuck in the brain, such that they start kind of running your show and kind of talking at you all the time, especially if you have a history of other incidents in your past where you've internalized the same negative belief. Under most circumstances, when you experience a traumatic event, there's a resilient part of you that is able to put that traumatic memory or that event in, in your brain and code it as a memory that occurred. You're never really gonna feel that great about it. It's never gonna be pleasant, but it's filed away as a distinct memory and it's in the past. For someone who experiences or develops PTSD, that process is a bit different. What happens is the nervous system in that moment never turns off. And so in the future, when you experience something that is similar or triggers that memory, it's really hard for the brain to determine whether this event happened in the past or if it's occurring now. For someone with PTSD, it feels like that event has, is always happening to them.